Romania's decision to move forward with a €626 million Euro procurement of the French-made Mistral Man Portable Air Defense System marks a significant step in the country's ongoing effort to reinforce its low-altitude protection at a time when the regional air threat environment continues to evolve rapidly. This acquisition, formally confirmed on November 26, 2025, comes as Russian drones, cruise missiles, and other low-flying weapon systems remain a persistent concern along Romania's 650-kilometer border with Ukraine. As debris from Russian strikes has repeatedly fallen on Romanian territory, the government's focus on strengthening short-range and very short-range air defense reflects a clear strategic need. What makes this procurement notable is not only its scale, over 230 launch units and nearly 1,000 missiles, but also the way it integrates Romania into Europe's emerging defense procurement architecture, positioning Bucharest both as a recipient of advanced capabilities and as a participant in a broader continental initiative to rebuild air defense capacity. The contract, signed between the armaments directorates of Romania and France, includes not only launchers and missiles but an entire ecosystem of training systems, simulators, documentation, and initial logistic support. This approach reflects a growing recognition among NATO and EU frontline states that effective air defense is about more than individual platforms, it requires an integrated, multi-layered structure supported by trained personnel, compatible sensors, and reliable supply chains. The Mistral deal fits neatly within Romania's modernization strategy, which has already introduced Patriot long-range air defense batteries, upgraded Hawk XXI systems, South Korean Chiron manpads, and a variety of anti-drone technologies. By adding a second modern manpads family, Mistral alongside Chiron, Romania increases redundancy, diversifies seeker technologies, and reduces the vulnerabilities inherent in relying on a single supplier or system type. It also brings its armed forces closer to a standard shared with numerous European militaries, reinforcing interoperability at a moment when collective defense has become not just an aspiration but an urgent requirement. The technical capabilities of the Mistral system explain why Romania chose it for this crucial layer of its air defense shield. Originating in French research programs dating back to the 1970s, the Mistral missile has undergone several iterations, culminating in the Mistral 3 variant introduced in the 2010s. This latest version offers a fire and forget imaging infrared seeker, improved resistance to countermeasures, high maneuverability, and effective engagement against small, fast, and low signature targets, including drones and cruise missiles. With a maximum range of up to 8 km and an altitude envelope extending to 6 km, the system occupies the upper tier of what is traditionally considered the very short-range category. This makes it particularly valuable for defending critical points such as airfields, logistics hubs, naval facilities, and forward-deployed units against the types of threats that have become defining features of the conflict in Ukraine, loitering munitions, kamikaze drones, and low-flying cruise missiles designed to evade detection. Compared with Romania's legacy CA-94 and CA-95 systems, derivatives of the Soviet Strela, the Mistral represents a generational leap. Its imaging seeker is far more resistant to decoys and background clutter, its guidance is more precise, and its lethality is optimized to defeat drones that older infrared seekers often struggle to lock onto. Against modern Western counterparts such as the U.S. Stinger or Sweden's RBS-70, Mistral holds its own, offering competitive range and performance while relying on passive infrared guidance rather than laser beam riding. This not only simplifies operator training but also reduces the risk of detection by enemy electronic support measures, a valuable feature on a battlefield where counterbattery and countersensor capabilities have become increasingly sophisticated. The system's flexibility is another advantage, it can be deployed from shoulder or tripod mounts, integrated onto light vehicles, mounted on ships for close-in protection, or configured as airborne pods for helicopters. For Romania, with its army, air force, naval forces, and special operations units all requiring short-range air defense, this versatility ensures that the same missile family can be adapted across multiple operational environments. Beyond the technical dimension, 
this procurement carries geopolitical and industrial significance. Romania is among the first countries to benefit from the EU's new defense industrial tools, particularly the joint acquisition of Mistral System Initiative and the safe regulation under the Defense Industry Investment Plan. Through these frameworks, nine EU member states are consolidating their orders to reduce costs and increase production efficiency at MBDA facilities. The European Defence Industry Reinforcement through Common Procurement Act, IDERPA, provides financial support for cooperation costs, effectively reducing national expenses at a time when missile consumption rates across Europe have surged. This shared procurement model represents a departure from the traditional approach in which states negotiated individually with industry. Instead, Europe is moving toward a more coordinated, predictable, and scalable model in which demand signals are aggregated and production lines are stabilized, an essential shift in a security environment shaped by high-intensity conflict nearby. Romania's participation in this European procurement mechanism signals its alignment with broader EU defense ambitions while maintaining full compatibility with NATO standards and US-made systems already in service. This balance, European industrial cooperation alongside transatlantic interoperability, reflects Romania's strategic position at the intersection of EU defense integration and NATO's eastern flank deterrence posture. By anchoring a major air defense purchase within a European framework, Bucharest is both contributing to and benefiting from the continent's push to restore missile stockpiles, strengthen industrial capacity, and ensure readiness for long-term threats. The fact that MBDA has shifted to a war economy production model underscores the importance of timely procurement decisions, production slots are at a premium and countries that secure early access will be better positioned to sustain their defenses in the coming years. Operationally, the introduction of nearly a thousand Mistral missiles will help Romania close critical gaps at low altitude, particularly along the Danube Corridor and the Black Sea region where Russian drones have previously crashed or violated Romanian airspace. The system's portability allows for rapid deployment in areas where mobile, flexible protection is required, whether to shield ammunition depots, energy infrastructure, naval units, or forward ground forces. Integrated into Romania's command and control architecture, Mistral launchers will benefit from shared sensor data, allowing them to react more quickly to hostile incursions and coordinate with other layers of air defense. In combination with Patriot batteries positioned for long-range interception, medium-range systems currently being introduced, and short-range assets such as Jeopard and Chiron, the result is a more coherent, multi-altitude defensive network capable of addressing diverse threats simultaneously. Ultimately, Romania's Mistral procurement is more than another line item in its growing defense budget. It represents a strategic adaptation to the realities of contemporary warfare, where inexpensive drones can inflict disproportionate damage and where the speed of decision-making and the density of air defense layers often determine operational survival. It also signals a shift in Europe's approach to defense procurement, from fragmented national programs to collective frameworks designed to rebuild industrial strength and ensure interoperability. For Romania, situated on NATO's front line and exposed to the spillover effects of the conflict in Ukraine, the deal is both a long-term investment in national security and a demonstration of its commitment to contributing to a stronger, more resilient European defense posture.